Welcome to the demonstration of dot plot run through hot plot. Once you've installed the program suite, you will see the hot plot red dot icon on your desktop. In order to run the program, simply double click the hot plot icon. That's hot plot for dot plot. In the top box, we have the location of the program. Dot plot's always installed into the dot seven thousand folder on your C drive. In the second box, we have the setup file. We have a series of setup files. Standard dot set is the normal one that you would use. That box can also be left blank, which would give you standard dot set again. In the third box down, we specify the input text file. If you've already run the program, then you might have something of your own there. In our case, we are going to choose a file not out of the list of existing files that we've run previously, but rather from the hard drive by clicking on the box, the button rather, with the three dots. The program comes with a series of examples, which are appropriately enough in the dot plot folder, dot 7000, examples subfolder. And we'll start off with the text file examples.txt. Choose the file, click open, and that appears as the input file to be used. Almost always we will use PDF and Preview as the output. We're producing profiles. In the scale, you can put in a scale which will make every profile that scale. Otherwise you can let the program determine the most suitable scale for each profile. We've already ticked the legend. That means that we'll get a final page which contains a summary of the soil symbols. We are now ready to run. When I click the button with the green surround, a DOS window will appear briefly showing dot plot itself running and that will then finish and the PDF file will come up on screen in your PDF viewer. I'm now going to click the button. Dot plot runs in a DOS window, it produces the symbol summary and it's finished and we now have the PDF file on screen. Let's view it in continuous view and scroll down a little you'll see the first hole dim 001 we can see the descriptions on the right symbols on the left and in the column the soil symbols rock symbols as required, samples on the left, water table with the vertical arrow, notes at the bottom, from these notes the water table which you see currently near the top of the screen was produced, a perched water table which is now off the screen, a chemical sample, an undisturbed sample and a disturbed sample. At the bottom of the page we see a description of the various items, the elevation, inclination, the contractor, when it was done, by whom and so on. And we scroll down further, we come to the second profile on the next page. Scrolling down further, we come to the notes for that profile. And a third hole on the third page, somewhat more complex, as you'll see on the left with samples that span a range. And as we go down, we'll again see the notes. And now we'll go on to the final page, which contains the legend, the summary of symbols. 
the names of the symbols together with the symbols themselves and the symbols used for permanent water table, perched water table, the various samples and finally roots and that concludes our profile. In a later video we will look at how we produced the text file that the program used to do the PDF file. Thank you for watching this video.